Good morning everybody, AJ here. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you my top five favorite features of the Microsoft Whiteboard app. If you find this video useful, make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you really wanna supercharge the way you use Windows 10, hit that subscribe button as well. With that being said, let's get into it. For this demo, I'm gonna launch and do everything natively within the Whiteboard app. You can also start a Whiteboard session within a team site, but my recommendation is to use the dedicated app wherever possible because it's gonna give you the most features and functions, including pen sensitivity, and because everything is saved in the cloud, it's all gonna to sync together live time between the Whiteboard app and Teams. The first tip I'm gonna give you is to get familiar with the toolbar down the bottom. There's different pens and highlighters, a ruler and eraser, sticky notes that you can see me writing into. Let me move that off to the side, and you know what, I'm gonna give that a like as well. I can insert a photo, and if I press on this plus symbol, there's a range of other features and preview features that are coming out to the whiteboard. So keep an eye out because this app keeps getting better and better. One of the big benefits to using the full desktop app over the version you get in Microsoft Teams is that the full app has pen pressure sensitivity, which means the lighter or the harder I press, the more or less ink is gonna come out of my pen. And of course, if you're using a Surface Pen, I can just flip it around and use the back of it as an eraser. The Whiteboard app is essentially an infinite canvas, so you're never gonna run out of pages of paper. But anyway, how about I zoom out and start listing out my top five features for you. Tip number one has to be the toolbar because they give you some amazing tools in here to build awesome looking whiteboards. Tip number two is the rulers and shapes because how great is it to be able to draw perfectly straight lines and perfectly round circles in a whiteboarding session? Microsoft's AI makes it so easy to do this and I'll teach you how to do it right now. In the top right hand corner, there are the three lines or hamburger menu and in a Microsoft app, three lines or three dots always means more. If you select on the hamburger menu, it's gonna take you to your settings and you're gonna see there are two options there of ink to shape and ink to table. I want you to turn them on, then select back to your whiteboard. Let's scroll over and find some space and now you're gonna watch me draw a perfect circle, a perfect square and a perfect triangle. All thanks to Microsoft's AI. Now I'm gonna grab that square, move it over and resize it so you can see this nice and clearly and watch what happens when I put a line straight through the middle of it or straight down the center. The whiteboard app is gonna turn this into a dynamic table so that as I write and draw, everything's gonna stay inside of the lines and the square is gonna grow around our writing and drawing. Now let's scroll over and keep building out our top five whiteboard tips. Number three is the lasso because it allows you to easily interact and transform your whiteboard using Microsoft's AI. You can find the lasso tool down the bottom in between the ruler and the A on the toolbar, or if you've got a Surface Pen, simply press and hold the button on your Surface Pen. To activate the lasso, simply circle around an item on your whiteboard and you see a little contextual menu appear above that selected item. Once it's selected, I can move it around the page, copy, cut, paste, I can resize it if I wanted to. For now, I'm just gonna copy it, paste it so I've got two of these little lasso symbols, and watch what I do when I press that little color palette. I can actually change the color of that writing as well. But the real magic of the lasso happens when you select just the text and choose the Ink Beautify tool. If you missed that, let me show you again on our top five whiteboard tips. This time I'm gonna choose the lasso from down the bottom in the toolbar. I'm gonna to circle around our top five whiteboard tips. On the left of that contextual menu is the Ink Beautify tool. It looks like a little wand, and this is gonna convert my messy handwriting into much more legible, yet still editable looking text. This tool is extremely handy when you're working on shared whiteboards because it means that everyone can understand the other person's handwriting. Tip number four is called Ink Beautification and it's similar to Ink to Text because it still uses the Lasso tool and Microsoft's AI Converter, but this tool is so handy that I wanted to call it out as a tip on its own. 
Let's scroll over and grab another section of this infinite canvas that we have, and we're gonna select the import image. I've got a photo on the computer. It's a piece of paper that I've drawn on, but I want you to imagine it's a photo of a whiteboard. I'm gonna import it into the whiteboard now. Uh, let me just move this over and resize it and then zoom in so you can see this a bit better. When I select the wand that is the ink beautification tool, Microsoft's AI is gonna recognize the handwriting on this whiteboard or this piece of paper, and it's gonna convert it into digital ink so we can now interact with the content as if we drew it directly into the whiteboard app. You can see here I'm using the back of the pen to rub out those lines and tidy up that conversion a little bit. But the amazing thing here is a few seconds ago, this was a static image and now I'm interacting with it as if I had written and drawn it directly into the whiteboard app. I'm using the lasso tool to grab sections of this chart move it around and add into it in ways that just isn't possible with a physical whiteboard. I can select another color and keep adding into this chart. I can use the lasso tool to circle around and use that ink to text to make my handwriting much more legible. I'm able to convert my messy lines into a perfect square, pull out the ruler and draw perfectly straight lines to connect this flowchart. And of course, I can show you my last tip, which is all the different ways you can use the Whiteboard app to share and collaborate with your colleagues. By selecting the hamburger menu in the top right hand corner, you see you can export the Whiteboard as a static PNG or a high quality image. You could export it to a team site to continue collaborating with the team that you're in. You could send it directly via an email, or if you press on the big blue button next to your profile picture, you can share the whiteboard directly with your colleagues so you can collaborate and co-author with them live time. And because everything is saved on the cloud, you can access this from any device, whether it be Windows, Mac, iOS, or Android. As a final tip, I wanna show you how you can customize your white background to give you something a little nicer to write on. Simply going into our settings again, we're gonna scroll down to the background options. And from here, you can choose a number of different pastel colors and patterns to customize your canvas. And of course, if you haven't already, and there you have it. Those are my top five features of the Microsoft Whiteboard app. Let me know what was your favorite or if you have any others. If you found this video useful, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you really want to supercharge the way you use Windows 10, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. And I'll see you next time. Bye.